state's first cultural arts district. That was not by chance or by accident. The city has a robust art scene. The performing arts, the visual arts, the literary arts, the culinary arts, the liquid arts, <laughs> and most dear to my own heart, the musical arts. Music is in the air as national performers and our own orchestras will frequently show us. Cascade Symphony Orchestra, conducted for the past 21 years by Maestro Michael Murakowski, sold out every show for the five years preceding the pandemic to 2020. Such a dedicated fan base is uncommon among community orchestras, but Mirapolsky's standards are high and the all volunteer musicians are dedicated in their art. Their, con their consistently outstanding performances were attracting audience members to Edmonds as far away as Delhi and Japan. Not being able to hold my performances in the 2021 season was a hard blow, but the orchestra survived and thrived once again. You'll hear more about that a little bit later. Cascade is one of the three major Edmonds Arts organizations formed in the mid 20th century, joining the Griffin Theater and the Edmonds Arts Commission. These three organizations have drawn artists and arts aficionados to our community to not only show their talents, but to also render and reside here and raise their families. The Edmonds School District has benefited from this break for this community arts program, developed one of the finest arts programs, education in the state. As we embark on the 61st season today, uh, we share the story of the Cascade Symphony, its history, surviving the pandemic, and future partnerships that we might form. But before we talk about ourselves, we are bringing you a sample of our product. This morning, we're going to hear some musical interludes from two of the orchestra's finest musicians, Luis, Al Luis Alcantara, principal second violin, and Norma Herman, principal cello emeritus, still in the orchestra and one of the founding members of the orchestra in 1961. Good morning, everybody. So my friend Luis and I are going to start out by playing uh, a duet by a composer named Carl Stamitz. Uh, it's classical, but it's pretty upbeat and we like it. Thank you. 
share a little of the history of the orchestra, giving you a brief overview of the last 61 years. Uh, I'll introduce the Vice President of the Board, Molly Sullivan. Good morning. It's wonderful to see many familiar faces and a lot of new faces uh, this morning at the Chamber Breakfast. And so I'm glad to be able to uh, introduce the orchestra to some new uh, members of the Chamber. We have been uh, an orchestra for 61 years, and it's a all volunteer orchestra. People are uh, doctors, dentists, uh, Boeing engineers, naval officers, teachers, all kinds of different professions. But on Monday night, we come together to rehearse. And on our concert nights, we present our music to the community. And our orchestra, it turns out, brings people to Edmonds. We are uh, bringing people to the restaurants and coming to visit, uh, particularly the, the afternoons when we have our children's concert. A lot of people from different areas come because we have a instrument, musical instrument petting zoo. And this is an occasion where the kids can touch and play an instrument. Well, it gets kind of loud in the lobby of the ECA, but it's such a delight to see the little kids uh, exploring music. And that's what we want to give back to the community with our youth uh, programs. Uh, obviously, our February concert for children, but also we have young uh, musicians who will uh, be soloists with the orchestra. Our first uh, concert this year is going to be October 24th, where two young pianists will perform and will impress us with their skills. Uh, we also have scholarships for graduating seniors, and we have had over the years, uh, for the holiday season concerts, the uh, high school students from the Edmond School District with us, about eight to 10 students, performing side by side with the orchestra members, getting a sense of what it really is like to be in a big orchestra. So we are delighted to be here. And I turn this over back to Bruce. Okay, we are up for a little more music. We're back to more of weeks. <laughs> Don't ask me why that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to play another little duet by the same composer, Carl Stamets. Thank you. 
I'm sure we all remember. Can everybody hear me? Is this working? Yeah. I'm sure we all remember when the pandemic stopped our lives in their tracks. For the Cascade Symphony, our plans for the season came to a stunning halt in March of 2020, on the very day of a dress rehearsal. Our, our concert was scheduled for Monday, March 9th, and on March 8th, the decision was made not to, to postpone the concert. Optimistically, we considered it a postponement, and a bunch of plans went uh, into place for rescheduling and different scenarios. As we all know, COVID had other plans for us. Once we realized that rehearsals and concerts would be out of the question for the foreseeable future, our priority became staying visible and keeping our connections with patrons and the business community. With the help of wonderful, our wonderful former executive director, who taught herself completely how to do video editing, we created and publicized virtual concerts, which for each of our scheduled performance nights, and these concerts were viewed by hundreds of people all over the country and actually even on the other side of the planet sometimes. Um, we sent letters of hope and encouragement from our maestro. Oh, I messed it up, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, letters of hope and encouragement from our maestro um, and other communications to our patrons. We work to maintain our ties with the business community by continuing Business Alliance memberships at no cost with our, um, with our members. Some of our musicians stayed active by getting acquainted with software that allowed them to play together online. And others just got together and played quartets out in the driveway or out in a deck just for fun, just to keep our sanity. So we cautiously stepped back into the live concert world in the 2021-22 season. The Edmonds Center for the Arts reopened the venue with vaccinations and masks required. With the uncertainty surrounding COVID and its variants, we decided not to offer a season package that year, but rather presented single concerts, one at a time, and we temporarily suspended the seat reservation guarantee from the previous season. Our audience for those concerts was sparse, but so enthusiastic and so happy to be back hearing our orchestra perform. For the musicians, being able to play together again was a joy that almost brought many of us to tears. 
Now in the 22-23 season, we're trying to get back to normal, if such a thing even exists. We're offering season tickets again, and patrons have the opportunity to reserve those seats that they had reserved in the previous, uh, previous season. We are continuing our scholarship program. And as Holly mentioned, uh, next year we plan to return to our side-by-side -side, uh, program where gifted high school string players come and sit side-by-side -side with orchestra members. And the audience loves that. They sit on the outside, right on the edge of the stage sometimes so the parents can come and watch them play and orchestra members turn pages for them. Um, but we have an uphill battle before we actually can reach our previous normal. Ticket sales so far are just about at 50% of the full houses we used to enjoy. We've not yet had access to our school district rehearsal space. So we have been rehearsing in the stage at the Evans Center for the Arts, basically tripling our rehearsal costs. As we're, most people are aware, recent inflation means that everything costs more. And grant funds have been routed toward needs related to the pandemic, as they should be. Looking forward, we're optimistic. Our maestro has assured us that our recovery is looking better than many other orchestras. Thanks to very careful fiscal management, we're not in immediate danger of insolvency. We're extremely fortunate to have our loyal audience members and other friends of the orchestra who've continued to support us through these difficult times. We will never take this for granted. We're proud to have served the arts in Edmonds for the past 60 years. And we will keep working to ensure that our orchestra is a healthy and vibrant part of the arts community in the future. Well, number before them and then a quick wrap up. One more number from them and then have a quick wrap up as to how you can help the African State Symphony and the Arts Alignment. <laughs> so we're going to finish up by sharing uh, one more little piece that Louise and I think is quite a bit of fun. It's sort of a jazzy piece. It's called, and I cannot pronounce this, of course, because I don't speak the language, whatever that is, but it's Come Il Fa, or something like that. <laughs>
You've seen this slideshow going here when you didn't have pictures of my family <laughs> <laughs> unexpectedly. Uh, in 2017, I believe it was, we started the Cascade Symphony Orchestra Business Alliance. And by, by the time the pandemic arrived, we had uh, 70 some members. It's an uh, easy thing to do. We have on your tables some information about this. Let me just give you a brief overview. It costs $100 a year to join. And by the way, if you have businesses and multiple sites in the local community, such as now, I'll give an example, um, the restaurants all owned by Schubert, um, we give a single man membership of $150 that comes with all your businesses and gives more visibility and more benefits. We try to give you some benefits that uh, will give you visibility in return. During the, during the pandemic, we suspended dues because we are well, we're not a wealthy wealthy officer we had enough to get by because our expenses went down now this for this year is going to be a difficult year for us because we don't have we're just getting back to the season tickets and that used to be our big revenue but uh, one of the benefits of course is in the lobby before concerts during intermission and after the concerts when the, we're milling around we run the slideshow with all of our members information you can help design them you can tell us what you want to do we, we do the design uh, other benefits that come with the membership you have a window planner. Some of you like these, other people don't want to use them. We'd love to see every business in Edmonds have little window planners. So you're going to have to use some lines. Our logo is pretty, you see up at the top, you see up at the top of the page there with more of this picture. We also give you a three line listing of every country program. We have a business alliance, four or more pages, whatever we have membership. You can, your name, your name is the first line, and then you can say anything nice about your business that you want to say. Uh, we don't want you to sell, we don't want you to say Trump was $250 or something like that, but you can talk about what your, your product is. Your business's name and logo and information will be going through at all the concerts. We have a dedicated page to the Business Alliance where members can click on your name and go right to your website on our web, from our website. If you do any advertising, you get a 10% discount on our pro, in our programs. And you get two complimentary tickets for the annual Symphony uh, Winter Holiday Concert. And that's held on this year, I think it's December 4th, yes, at the ECA. And it'll also include two passes to our intermission reception. You get a chance to meet other people, some of the bigger donors, and have a glass of wine or soft drink and some nibbles during intermission. Uh, we hope that you will see the value of the arts and Edmonds and in some way help us. We did have some business during the last year sent dues, which we treated as donations or sent larger amounts. If you send over $100, you then, that qualifies it as a donor and you get whatever benefits at that donor level. So you'd be listed Mr. Donor as a donor and on the business owners page and pick that up. So we appreciate the opportunity to be here today. Thank you, Erica. Uh, we were supposed to be here in October. I was going to be in Arizona and thank Barton Brown for switching with us so I could be here today because I love doing this over the years. I've stayed away from you guys for the last two years because I'm too old to get COVID, so I've been very careful. But thank you for having us back, and thank you. If, if there are like one or two burning questions for Bruce or other members of the orchestra, we can take those before we launch into introductions. Well, I don't have any burning questions, but I want to thank everyone in the Cascade Symphony for um, you know filling our community with such beautiful music. I appreciate it. All that I have been involved with the symphony since I opened the Rubik in 1980, uh, and uh, such an important part of our community. Blessings to you all. Um, who's the best person to get in touch with if if somebody is interested in in becoming a well, business if, alliance if, member? Uh, if you want to join the business alliance, on the flip on the flip side of the page is uh, there's a form you can send into us. 
If you want to call me or get a hold of me, just write Business Alliance at Cascade Symphony. And if you want the $150 membership, you have multiple sites around the area. We don't have that available through this paperwork. I would talk to you. So send, just send the Business Alliance at CascadeSymphony.org and I'll get, give me your contact information and I'll get in touch with you. But you can give this to us now. You can mail them to us. Normally we have online registration, but we're in the middle of changing our website around and we think it's working, but we're not sure that it's gonna work. So this year we're gonna kind of stick with paper. We're also transitioning on our executive director. So the website one, maybe, but the paper one for sure works. Um, all right, we will start with introductions over with Peter. 30 seconds and listen for the bell if you go over. Good morning, everyone. A little late this morning, there was a crash on my five. <laughs> so, I am Peter with Peter's PC, kind of mobile computer repair. I'm not quite as mobile as I used to be. Uh, if your technology is stressing you out, give me a call. I can help. And remember, call the computer guy in the bow tie. Good morning. I'm Kathy Mullenberg, and I'm a Cascade Symphony member and board member. Um, just here for support. <laughs> and I'm Joe Caldwell, Cascade Symphony board member, and I'm just here to support the orchestra and this chamber. Thank you. And the Huskies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Holly Sullivan, you've heard from me. Thank you. Morning, Carrie Barron, Contractor Hotline. Thank you, Ashley Kennedy, for your wonderful presentation today. And as a business owner, I would just highly encourage you to consider being uh, a business alliance member. It's the it's really great value um, for what you get back. Um, we all have marketing to do with our businesses, so I'm seriously consider uh, being a member and supporting. Barbara Kindness. Uh, can't think of a better way to start a day, Norma. Elise, it's so good to see you. Thank you. We performed the Silky Community Corral performance with the Cascade Company at Benoit Hall, and it's a wonderful experience. We're starting our rehearsals next Tuesday, so if anybody, if you know anybody who sings or you sing yourself, please let me know because we'd love to have you come and join us this next season. Good morning. I'm Tina Novak with the Beacon. Um, whether you're looking to advertise in print or online for your local community newspaper, please reach out to me. Have a great day. Good morning. I'm Shell Cass with Ohana Hyperbarics. Raise your hand if you ever suffer with some inflammation. Okay. So one hour of very gentle oxygen therapy in one of our hyperbaric chambers has an anti-inflammatory equivalent of taking 40 ibuprofen. So as people are going back to school and you think about athletes or people who want to have like optimum brain health, come see us at Ohana Hyperbarics. It's also great for musicians as well because I know sometimes there's aches and pains associated with uh, your craft. Um, I'm Katie from the Kinect Expo. We got a ribbon cutting today. Um, if you can't make it by today, I have little flyers. Good morning, I'm Elizabeth with the Foundation for Admin School District. And I am here because our Celebrate School is five years <coughs> coming up on October 1st. And this is a really important fundraising event to support students and families in the district. Super fun. We're starting a college place in the school and traversing the golf course, the Lindemann School Golf Course. Um, it's a fun chance to walk or run community members. I believe the chamber might be putting together a team we have in the past. I know Amanda Brown is probably going to be there. So we'd love to see you there participating and running and walking. Thank you. Uh, good morning. I'm Ralph Sanders. I'm from Three Culverts Studios. Uh, we value your business very much. We know you work very hard at it. We, we think that video marketing is one of the best ways to get the word out about your businesses and the second place. And we can provide you with professional, scripted, measurable video marketing. Uh, we can help you uh, decide where to put it. <laughs> so, right here in downtown Edmonds, and there's three former students. 
Good morning, I'm Brenda Brown with New Skin. We're a global leader in skincare, nutrition, and anti-aging products and technologies. We have an incredible liquid collagen. And if you're not aware of it, our body is full of collagen and we lose it every year. This replenishes the collagen. It actually protects the collagen and it's a super hydration um, product. So the other thing is that we help people get whiter teeth get a natural looking tan so you don't have to go out and get a sunburn and damage your skin. If you'd like any information, let me know. Hello, I'm Caitlin Huvener, and uh, my parents, Mike and Karen Horbeck, started Run Twin Outreach 31 years ago. We run Christian sports camps for kids in the community and also work with local high school and college teams to provide support and encouragement to them. We have fundraisers throughout the year, a golf tournament every September, and an auction every May or June. And um, I have been a part of the organization from a young age, obviously going as a camper and then a coach. And now I'm um, gonna be taking over for my parents in the new future. So I'm just here to meet all of you and get to know more of Evans. It's your first time. Yeah. Yes. Awesome. <laughs> I'm Lisa Epstein with Sales Insurance Group, and people ask me what kind of insurance do you do? I think everything. If you have it, we can insure it. Um, and if you don't know what you have, you think about your insurance right now, and you don't know what you have, you should talk to me. We do it differently. We just want to review with you and make sure you have it, and you're not surprised if you don't. And then you can go back to your current person to help with your insurance with whatever you like. <laughs> Hi, my name is Mark Gibson, and I'm with Silver Age Placement Services. For seniors and their adult children, to help place them in assisted living, adult family homes, memory care, and also give referrals to in home care. So, if you know anyone that uh, is looking at doing some planning for retirement living, if you're independent or needing some more support in their home or in another community, uh, feel free to call Mark Gibson with Silver Age Placement Services. <laughs> <laughs> well, that took a long time. Good morning, everybody. Jeff King, now representing First Security Bank. A big change. Still in Edmonds. Uh, I'm actually a visitor today. So <laughs> I can't say it first time by any means, but uh, happy to be still a local banking resource for everyone. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm just right on 104. And that's it. So working on the membership right now, still going to remain active with everything in the community and happy to be still part of this community too, with a good opportunity for myself. So come see me if you have any questions. Thanks. I was going to say something about Jeff, but I'll say <laughs> Every great story starts with a script. Ralph Sanders is one of our script writers. You never met him, you should be funny. He's well read and he brings something out of left field and then he gives you a surprise or a, a, a hook when he talks. When you watch something, you should look for that hook. So keep the right. Good morning, I'm Kirsten with the Edmonds Strickland Players. We are opening our 64th season next week with Agatha Christie's The Mousetrap. Um, if anyone's interested in attending, I've got some discount information here. Uh, we appreciate Edmonds Chamber members for allowing us to put posters up in their businesses. And uh, we hope you come, thank you. Good to see you in person. My name is Debbie Vianikis and I'm the president of uh, Edmonds Brewery, the new group for the owners. And uh, we're having our major fundraiser coming up in two weeks. It's called uh, Oktoberfest, it's September 23rd and 24th. We did one in 2019, it was very successful, but of course with COVID we haven't. And so we hope you'll all turn out for it. We have a beer garden, we have a 5K kids dash, we really need some runners. Uh, food trucks, beer garden, kids corner, Head parade and live music, and the best of all, it's a community event. It's free, so come on in. We just want you to drink a lot of beer. <laughs> <laughs> so, Joan Longstaff, 
Oh my gosh, <coughs> a blessing. Um, I uh, joined the chamber in 1980, so I have, that's when I opened my broken chair in the historic house. And I was one of the first women invited to be a Rotarian. Uh, and I've been on the board for work opportunity for many years, and that's one of the best boards I've ever served on. Uh, and Cascade Symphony has been a very important part of my life. Uh, Ellen One, very close friend, um, and Bob Little. But anyway, it's an Edmonds kind of a day, and we're so blessed to be here. Good morning. I'm Marty Thomas, Director of Development at Works Opportunity. And we are in our 29th year of supporting people with disabilities in terms of life in the community and the whole path to employment and earning their first paycheck. And we just uh, doing some research yesterday. I read 17% of people with disabilities in the Very low number. We work every day to change that with our amazing community. And very lovely music. Thank you so much. And I was going to say something bad about Jeff. Um, <laughs> I am Carrie Morehouse, uh, Executive Director of Work Opportunities that was on our board. He's now not on the board. Um, <laughs> real quickly, we work with about 500 people um, in King, Snohomish, and Washington County. Edmonds is our, is our heart, is our center. Uh, we made it through the pandemic. We thought we were going to have to close our doors because people all went home and folks would be served. But I'll tell you that with the employment situation there is right now, we are so busy that finally employment and women recognizing that people with disabilities really should be included in the workforce. So really happy to be here this evening. Hi, I'm Miley. I work with our youth and our community. I don't think we're trying to practice, so I'm not sure that it's safe here in Edmonds. Um, we were putting on run to work for the first time in 2020. <laughs> So we're really excited to be in person today, or next month on October 1st, we'll be at a Chicago shop just down the street here. Um, so please join us, and if you're interested in sponsoring or donating or just volunteering, please contact me. Um, we have runtowork.org, and that's where you can get all my information. Um, we Harvey, when the real estate has you go for it all the wood. What a great morning. It's so good to hear from everybody again, right? I enjoyed summer, but here we are. Let's get re-engaged, right? So the real estate market has returned to sanity. It's all steroids. Um, it's a great time to be a buyer. It's always good to be a seller. And we've realized a lot of equity in the last few years. So double your um, equity in your house. So the real estate new market. You said sanity, right? I did say sanity. Yes, yeah, I'll talk to Jeff. It's okay. time to be, it's time to actually buy without writing 10 offers. Right. <laughs> who knows anybody who would like $25,000? <laughs> I do. Um, I carry one designer at Kita Events Northwest Bridal and Formal Wear, and that designer is Casablanca. And they're celebrating not only their 25th wedding anniversary, but 25 years in business, the couple who uh, built Casablanca met on a train and seven days later were married. So um, they're giving $25,000 away to a lucky winner who comes in to Kita events, tries on a dress, snaps a selfie and posts it on Instagram. It's super easy. Spread the word. And let's start planning your holiday party. I'm not doing it. <laughs> <laughs> so good morning everybody my name is yuri i'm a preschool and creative director uh, of eureka creative uh, branding agency uh, probably a kind of sort of first branding agency in Edmonds, perhaps more or less uh, we help uh, businesses uh, stand out from the sea of sameness and uh, can build a better and closer and tighter emotional reach with their audiences and we do that uh, by uh, crafting compelling logos, identity systems, uh, signage, anything you name it. So if you kind of look at your logos and you think something kind of doesn't connect, it will feel either out of touch with your audience, doesn't stand out enough from your rivals. Come talk to me. I have a few cards left. Come see me. I'll give you my cards. We'll go from there. Thank you very much. And first time. <laughs> 
Oh yeah, first time. Society. Um, first and foremost, we have a really exciting program that has been on pause for the last couple of years, our Road to Recovery program that helps um, get cancer patients to and from treatment. Um, that just relaunched a couple months ago in King County and Snohomish County. So we're really excited to be able to offer that to any cancer patient, regardless of income, anything, anyone needs help getting to from treatment that needs that. We're also coming up on October, which is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. We are looking for members of the community um, to help promote breast cancer resources that we offer at the American Cancer Society and also um, get folks back in for the next grant. So if you're interested in <laughs> Good morning, everyone. I'm happy with Liza's news, the Lidwood Today and Montlake Cares News here on Network of News Sites. And we have a new city council member. I don't know if you tuned into that. How do I know that, you say? <laughs> our, um, our publisher and writer attended the meeting last night, late into the night, uh, 41 rounds of nominations and voting. And Dave Teitzel's our new um, council person for position one. Yeah. So um, the point is, we cover in-person um, events such as political elections, but we also do the fun events. So call me if you want your ad to travel along with the solid journalism of my news. Mm -hmm. Good morning, everyone. I'm Kelly Stone, an Edmonds resident, and I work for Fisher Companies. We're a family of services that started with plumbing in 1977 and has grown with heating and air, restoration, including repair services, and electric. We have five electricians on staff to do commercial and residential work, so we'd really love to work with you. And thank you. I'll be here if you have any further questions. <laughs> Everyone needs one. <laughs> Good morning. I'm Catherine Smith Jerkson with Catherine Property. I also brought flyers today for our upcoming um, event October 8th here at the Edmonds Waterfront Center. We're new to Edmonds, but have been around for over 20 years now. We work in water equity, working with Kenyan small business women. And you've got a great support us already. We're going to rock for water in May. We're going to have at least one table at this event. Several of you have said yes to Richard. He's not here this morning, but he's been great at inviting folks to come to that. So make sure you pick up a thing from me today if you plan to come to sale and you to buy tickets for that. Very excited to have our first in person event since 2019. So thank you for your support. My name is Annie Contrelli, and I'm with Bellavita Home Organizing. I started this in 2018. I help people declutter, downsize, organize. I work with a lot of people in transition. I help them their homes uh, for rent or sale. I love what I do. And again, my name is Annie Contrelli with Bellavita Home Organizing. Thanks for letting me be here. Be here. First Good morning, Jim Blakeway from Dialogic Personal Services. I help small companies and individuals with their bookkeeping and financial management. Thanks. Good morning, my name is Rob. I'm the owner of Outdoor Lighting Perspectives of North Sound. We're the North Sound's premier outdoor lighting full service company. If you've got residential, commercial, events, or holiday, give us a call. We can take your yard, your house, your property from cool to great to stunning to very low to uh, Just to let you know, October is showing up. October shows up, the days get shorter, the nights get longer, get ahead of the curve. We just call now. Hopefully, we'll book out for you. Take care. Hi, Low Winter Felt. I'm retired. I'm an individual member of the uh, of the chamber there. <laughs> Good morning. And the last of the flyers has appeared only because I'm the last one talking, I think. I'm Casey Davis, Evans uh, Food Bank. Our event is on Thursday, September 22nd here. Thank you to so many of you who are sponsoring our event or choosing to come. I'm going to give you two numbers to think about why we could use your support at Evans Food Bank. Last year, the pandemic is going on. We were serving 334 households in Oz per week. 
You know what it was this year? 524, I just finished the numbers yesterday. For many of our neighbors, what happened during the pandemic as we sit here and say get back to normal will never be normal for them again. Please think about this. Thank you. Who's called the vote? Sitting in that stupid computer that already didn't be used twice today is a uh, donation we intended to make. So I take kind of a handwritten one. We are donating two, a voucher for two tickets to any concert of your choice this season going out to the Green Down Center. If there's some turn my computer, uh, if you win it, you'll have to just send me an email and I'll send you the free prize. We'd love to have you attend a concert. Okay, okay. that means the elected winner. And I'm last, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just wanted to say, um, that I believe our holiday concert when the Business Alliance members will have a free ticket, I believe they're the um, 11th and 12th of December, um, not the 4th. Okay. So we can double check that, but I think that's the right date. Save the date. Yeah, save the date, right. <laughs> and I, I just also want to introduce, uh, you also know Luis, my dear friend, and the Wild and Cafe Symphony, and one of the people I would most love playing with you. Such a treat to have some music this morning. Um, so thank you guys for joining us. Um, we'll do our raffle. Before we get into that, and while I still have a, your attention, hopefully, um, I would like to put a call out, a request, to those of you who like to join us regularly at the breakfast and who also don't mind rising a little bit earlier than usual. Um, if you haven't noticed, Alicia is a little bit pregnant. <laughs> she um, she's due in, in mid October, um, which means that for for the later part of the year we're not going to be blessed with her presence. So um, she has been amazing in, in coming here early and helping me set up and making sure all of our coffee is ready for you all. Um, so if if there are a few people who are willing to come early at our next meeting. Um, and kind of learn the ropes from Alicia, um, that would be fantastic. And that way we can maybe set up a schedule where you only have to make it one time between now and the end of the year um, or early next year and, and be our helper for coffee. Um, so are you raising your hand to volunteer, Brenda? Actually, I wanted to find out what is early. Sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> seven seven o'clock. Be here at seven o'clock. So yeah, so if you can come, um, please come at seven o'clock during our next uh, our next meeting, and then at that point we'll talk about who can who can do it when schedule out the rest of the year. Um, I almost forgot to introduce so this one before I'm joining us from home. So real quick, uh, so I'm going to go back to Terry Cleveland from Ballinger Court Apartments. She says she wants to thank Verdant Health this morning for providing a two hundred and fifty dollar donation to the residents of Ballinger Court Senior Affordable Apartments for a healthy food addition to its September 13th resource fair. Contact Terry Cleveland. Um, you can get her email or phone number from me um, if you'd like details about that resource fair. And we have Olivia Brown from Sugarology. She says, what a wonderful, stay, wonderful way to start the day. Thank you to Cascade Symphony Orchestra. She uh, wants you to know that at Sugarology Edmonds, they've got sugaring, hair removal, and natural clinical skin care, and they will definitely be joining the Business Alliance. Carolyn Carmen is here also. Thank you for the presentation today, Cascade, Cascade Symphony Orchestra. Um, she wants you all to know she has a simple way to bridge the gap on what we eat and what we wish we ate with fruits and veggie plant powders, all things plants also helping you grow your own food with their aeroponic garden system, the number one food innovation company, Juice Plus. And we've got Celeste Race from Workforce Snohomish on. Thank you for a great performance. What a nice way to start the day. I really enjoyed hearing about everyone's business. Celeste Race, business engagement specialist at Workforce Snohomish. So, <coughs> thank you all for joining us from home and thank you all for coming here in person. And now we'll be with you. What's first? And this is for the Cascade to me to get. 
not mine. Andrew, three, one, two. Oh my God, me too, everyone else. <laughs>